In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do marketing on Twitter for your KDP books and projects. So my name is Brian Mustafa, and I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. And uh, my interest lies in training people. For, for, for a long time now, I've worked with different organizations, and all I do is trying to help people, whether in Africa or Europe, to monetize and make opportunities come true with their digital marketer. So these are some of the trainings I do. And uh, due to Corona, I took it upon myself to also share videos about what I do to make uh, some passive income using KDP. So I'm not that type who is that like behind the uh, uh, mic or behind the screen type, but I'm a man of my action and I go out to let people know the opportunities. And I've worked with different partners, with different organizations like Google International, I'm part of the Google Digital Skills Africa trainers uh, in Ghana, and also a lot of projects. So just be rest assured that I'm gonna give you the best when it comes to making money online and digital skills training and public speaking. So my course is ready, and I've been working hard to be, give you a course I don't know how much to price it yet, but I've been working in the course. This is just a course, how to create your manuscript interiors, how to fill KDP keywords, how to market your KDP books for free, how to price your low and no content book, how to scale your KDP business, how to steal your competitors' keywords, excuse me to say how to steal your competitors' keywords, KDP holidays you should take care of, KDP mass upload tool, KDP keyword research, Niche research, niche research is publishing your first KDP journal where I take you through the publishing uh, process. I still have contents to add. I'm still looking at my own strategy. I'm still to add my record, my own KDP strategy that's helping me make income. And I'm also going to uh, upload how to do like a, some basic covers for people. So these are the questions people have asked me and I've put in this in the course which I'm going to be releasing very soon. So if you are here, you are listening to this, just put in the price that you think I should price this because I have close to four hours of content coming out. Just four hours of content, four hours of, and I've spent like weeks and weeks doing researches to give you this. And I'm going to add in KDP interiors for free in this course. And I'm going to add all the details that you see that I've talked about. I'm going to add them so that you can always download the free interiors that I have for you and the niches that I have. So if you are watching here, please let me know how much do you think I should price this? And if you are ready for this, say yes. And say yes so that I will be able to release it. But today let's talk about how we can do uh, Twitter marketing for KDP interiors or for KDP uh, publishing. So Twitter and if you look at a trend in terms of marketing, you appreciate that the people who are ranking the first on the first pages, the competitors that you feel like they are paying to rank on the first pages, most of them are not paid, paying uh, doing Google Ads uh, or Google Ads or whatever ads or Amazon Ads. They are just doing what? They are just using some techniques to rank them. So today we're going to look at one which is Twitter marketing for KDP. So go into your Twitter account. If you have a Twitter account, just click on it. That's one. Then you can be able to, if you don't have a Twitter account, just type in twitter.com and you get an interface which you sign up. It's free for you to sign up. You don't have to pay to sign up. Then once you sign up, you are pretty sure going to have a place like this. So this is where the, twist, uh, the trends are. I'm in Ghana, so I've set it to Ghana trends to know whatever is happening. And uh, this is the home page, explore notifications, messages, bookmarks, list, profile. So you put a profile picture to it. So you can put a profile picture to it. So your profile should look something like this, a professional image a little, or you can just put in a business profile to it. Uh, profile picture, your a background that looks nice a little bit, and uh, you can see this is my description. So I need to change this to match KDP CEO, me for Africa, author, international keynote speaker, public speaking trainer, uh, public speaking coach, and marketing consultant. Then you just write some basic things. So 
pretty sure if you have something like this, you can market your books here. So let's look at the marketing process. There are two or four, three things that you need to take into consideration. First of all, you need your link. So you go on to Amazon, uh, you go on to Amazon, you get your book. If you don't know how to find your book, you can use your, you can just go onto your KDP dashboard and look at where the pricing is to get the link of your book. Or you can just type in your uh, pen name. If you are typing with your name, you just type in your name, all your books will pop up on Amazon. Then you get the book. So let's say we want a book on coloring. We want to market a book on coloring. So you get a book on uh, coloring. So like this one, it's a book on coloring. You get it. And uh, you copy the link to that book. Your book, so that should be your book. You copy that link. And that's the link we are going to use to do the marketing. But before that, so first you need your link. You need to have your books on Amazon. The opportunity is that once you post your books on Twitter, people can just directly click on that to lead, it will lead them to what? To Amazon. So you're driving traffic through Twitter to your uh, Amazon seller or whatever page it is that you want to sell store so that is it so the first thing you need to do is that you need to look for possible keywords so what happens is you don't need to have a lot of following or uh, a lot of followers on twitter to be able to what to market your books you can see with hashtags like this you can do more so i'm going to use some basic hashtags and you will see how some of the uh, top sellers are marketing their books that are getting found on Twitter. So you go to the search bar. So maybe you want to, uh, uh, our books are in coloring books. So today I'm going to use coloring books, but you can pretty sure use any book for any type, market any type of books. But you just have to follow the same procedure. So if you have hashtags, uh, if you have keywords, and uh, tags, people will find you more. So let's say I'm looking for coloring books. So I have to type hashtag and I do coloring, coloring, uh, coloring books. So to give you hashtag ideas. So once you do hashtag, because we're talking about coloring book, then you click on it. So you see a lot of people who are using the same hashtags to market their books. I'm pretty sure we'll see books that people are marketing based on that. So the first, they'll tell you people who have hashtags, uh, coloring books on their profiles, which are like some of the companies selling coloring books or stuff. But that's not what we're looking for. So you scroll down. I'm pretty sure we'll see, you, can start, you started seeing some hashtags on Etchy. Uh, Happy Halloween, who wants to color? Nightmare. This is an Etchy book. So these are coloring books that people are marketing and uh, on Etsy. So you can see eBay to their coloring books that people are marketing. That's great. And all of this. So you can see coloring books, people who are marketing coloring books. I'm pretty sure. Wow, you can see all this. So this is coloring books. And uh, I want to find. So once you scroll down, you see coloring books that people are marketing. So this gives you an idea that yes, people will just sit at home and all they do, they don't, they, if you're not, they may not go to the popular websites to look for coloring books, but they will just uh, uh, type in the, whatever it is, the hashtag on uh, Twitter to look for coloring books. So this is one of the uh, coloring books that you can see. So you can actually put in your image cover page like this one, to just do marketing or you can just put in the website pretty sure it's going to be the same so this is a toddler coloring book so this is what someone is using to market uh, their coloring book so if i click on this link here it is an image so the link is the link to this store is here so if i click on the link it will lead me to their amazon uh, store so you see that this book is selling a lot it has over 1261 ratings reviews and 
pretty sure that is how it's being found. And it has a BSR of uh, 15,566. As of now, it got to had BS, BSR up to a lower of this 8,000, which simply means this book is selling more. So you can see that the strategy that this book owner is using to sell more is that they use Twitter to do more. So if you scroll down, you see more books and you get more keyword ideas based on their books. So you can see this one says adult Canadian books. So you can use that on your uh, Twitter listing. You can use this one also so saying that, do you know, like this is a Canadian book. And this is also on Amazon, the little Canadian book for big anxiety. So it's on Amazon. So if we click on this, it leads you to what? Their books, their books on Amazon. So all you need to do is, if you don't have a large following, if you have a large following audience on Twitter, you may just rely on that and without even any hashtag and they will see you. But if you don't have large followings like me, I always use this ones. I always use uh, the uh, uh, keywords and hashtags to be able to what, get found on Twitter. So you can see we don't know this person, but because we use the coloring book hashtag or this, we are finding them on Twitter. So that's pretty sure how you can also do to what, get found on Twitter. So once we know that this is what we do or how to get found on Twitter, we also need to start tweeting your book. So you need to start tweeting your book. So you can go here and just do tweet, right? Or you can just, uh, just do tweets here. Pretty sure you go to what is happening. So what is happening that you just put in uh, your book title, or you, you can write a nice script, which is grab this coloring book for your relaxation. Just write pretty sure anything that you want to put in. I may not be able to write a relaxi, relaxation. Then you put in, a, grab this coloring book, this coloring book for your, for your relaxation. So you put in the, you can shorten this little, whatever it is, you can shorten this, but pretty sure I'm not for man to like be shortening things like that. So you can leave it like this, add the keywords, coloring, so coloring book, you put in adult coloring. So these are some of the keywords we found and the uh, other coloring and stuff. So we're going to post this. And uh, once we post this, I'm going, to, I'm going to search on Twitter. And if you are home, wherever you are watch, watching this from, just search. If you search coloring book, maybe if I've not done, uh, deleted this, you may still find this. If you do the latest search on Twitter with the same hashtag, wherever you are coming from, whatever you are like, whether you are in China, you are in India, you are in Morocco, my fans, you can also still go onto Twitter, just put in coloring book and the book will pop up. So I'm gonna tweet this. So once you can do many keywords or hashtags based on your niche, you can put in different, different things, even your name, then you tweet it. So once you tweet it, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. You can see as nice as it is. And you don't know my, my hashtag, you don't know my uh, Twitter name or you don't even have my Twitter account. But if you use that, you see this book. If you use coloring book, coloring book, or search for coloring book, hashtag coloring book, you see this. So now that we have this, let's search for coloring books and we'll see whether we'll find out, we'll see the book or not. So we're going to look for coloring book and we'll do latest, just do latest. It'll tell you that I'm the latest person who has published a coloring book with the same uh, hashtag. And you can see others also to match on that. And you can do this for all your books. So anytime you publish a book, please make sure you use the get appropriate hashtags or keywords. And you can always come to uh, come onto this same platform. If you do one keyword, which is popular for your niche, go down, look at what people are doing 
uh, you get inappropriate iPadro illustration, digital art, illustrator, coloring, coloring book, children book illustration. It's a book illustration book. Uh, you may still get like this one, colors, coloring, coloring book, color scheme, color palette. Then you just copy what they have. And uh, perhaps you can also still narrow it down to people who are on KDP like this one. If you are doing Halloween books, you see there are keywords for Halloween. Halloween, coloring book, Halloween, coloring book, Halloween, activity book, happy Halloween, Halloween 2020. Oh, this guy has stuff, the keywords, but that's good. You get found. And you can also even add Amazon. You can add different uh, tricks to it. So these are all children coloring and dinosaurs. You can also do this. This is also another amazing book. So once you do that, you find your rhythm and start treating them as many as possible. So you may, it may not guarantee sales, but it's going to drive traffic to your book, uh, to your book on Amazon. And once it starts driving traffic to your book on Amazon, Amazon will promote your book for free because they will look at the book and say that it's driving traffic to people on Amazon, taking people from Twitter directly to Amazon. So it simply means that you are giving them traffic and they will also give you traffic by promoting your book in the Amazon search or Amazon uh, uh, interface. And that will boost your sales and boost your algorithm or whatever it is and give you more sales. So these are, these are some of the secrets that the top sellers are doing that you don't know. So this is one, and I believe this is also a, an Amazon book. So you can Day of the Dead, other coloring book. So if you click on it, it goes to Amazon. So people who don't even know you, you don't have followings, will still find you on Amazon and help you uh, buy your book. So this is it. This is, so this is what this person is doing. This book has just been published October 15th, and the person is selling and already making strides to market uh, this book. So three days ago, today's 18th, but three days ago, uh, a person just published and the person is marketing it. So you can also do that. So thank you for your time. I believe in you, I believe in the power of your dreams. Just keep going, never give up, and uh, never stop believing. Never stop believing, I, believe, I appreciate. I appreciate it. But put in the comment section, follow, like this video, share it to your friends, share it to your family, comment on this, and let me know the price you want me to put for my for over five or four hours course. How much do you want me to charge? Just put in the comments and let me know. Thank you. I believe in you.